Hey, Dustin Phillips here with Bull Bay Rods, and today we're going to talk about the Banshee Rod. We're going to talk about what we like to use it for in salt and freshwater. We're going to cover the best lures that we think the Banshee is good to use with, and we're going to cover the design behind it and why we chose this color scheme and some of the components, the actions, and more. The Banshee. I'm sure you're wondering why we chose this unique desert looking tan and the olive green. The only thing I could say is it just looks good. To me, 90% of fishing is looking good. You know, everybody has their fishing shirts and their masks, their hats, their, their branded sunglasses. Well, why can't we bring some style to the fishing rod world? And the Banshee kind of accomplishes that, but in a, uh, a very brand specific way. Most of our rods, our tactical theme of some sort, and the names uh, somewhat line up with the applications. If we're talking about our sniper rod, the you know accuracy, distance, blah, 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 all that good stuff. The Banshee, what we wanted to accomplish with that name, for one, is speed. So when I was a kid growing up, there was a brand, a four-wheeler that we used to race with. It was a Banshee. It was one of the fastest out there. Uh, when we designed this rod, we designed it with an extra fast tip action. And what that means is the, the way the tip flexes at the very top of the rod, through here, it kicks in and it reacts a little bit faster than your standard rod. Where most rods may have a progressive bend all the way down into here or a slower action, uh, this is extra fast. So that means it's really active in the top section here. And that is great for, you know, casting light artificial or live baits and throwing. It, it, it's a performance enhancing aspect for certain applications. And we'll talk about that a little more in depth in a second. But what I really want to cover right now is the componentry and, and the design behind the Banshee. So with this rod, it not only looks good, but it feels good. So it's very lightweight. We have six different skews so they kind of vary in weight we have our six foot eight model which is this one right here and uh that one it weighs a hair under four ounces so you're around 3.6 you know on average so it's very lightweight it's very uh, easy to use for you know a long day of fishing you can cast without any issues we also have a seven foot four model which is this one here we also have a new to us uh length in a seven foot ten so this is one that a lot of wade fishermen and uh and and people who want to just cast as far as possible have been kind of bugging us for is a long you know inshore rod and this one uh this one will do that all of the banshee rods feature our classic tangle freestyle guides that we put on all the rods so we're not skimping on the quality on the guides they're going to give you better performance better casting distance better accuracy all the things that you want in a fishing rod we put on this rod the complaint that we've heard over the years is always the reel always backs loose after you fish all day. So what we did is we created a double locking nut on the back. So that nut right there can be tightened down after you put your reel on and you're never going to have it break loose. So you can cast a thousand times and your reel will be firm. It's never going to come loose. In fact, it may be hard to get off. So make sure you put a reel on there that you love because you don't want, you're not going to want to switch it. Uh, we have a couple rods that we no longer make, and we wanted to touch on the grips and, and taking some of the pros from some former models and, and current models and blend them into one. So we have the flared out grip, which is very popular on like a fly rod. Uh, you put your, your thumb on the end and it's flared. It kind of gives you that stopping point or your finger. Uh, it makes it really comfortable to work lures. It gives you a feel of, uh, of control. You've got the carbon fiber insert on the real C, so it looks cool, but it also picks up sensitivity right into your hand, the ergonomic shape. Um, yeah, and we did the, the OD green kind of color scheme there, you know, make it look cool. The rear grips have a little bit longer rear grip for those of you who hold more in the palm. You still have something that you can grab onto, and uh, it balances really well. You know, you can, you can put this rod on a 2500, 3,000 or 4,000 depending on the brand of reel and the size of the rod that you're getting. It's just a really good overall fit for multiple applications. What you would want to look for is you want to identify which Banshee rod fits your style of fishing and then you want to pick out a reel that balances with it, very lightweight. We recommend if you're buying in store, take a reel or take a reel off the shelf at that store, put it on there, pretend you're casting, 
Uh, maybe the store will give you a discount if you if you buy both. You know, you never know. What we really want to dive into with the Banshee is it's performance oriented, but it's affordable. So this rod is going to retail at 165 up to 179 so it's an affordable price point. At the end of the day, our goal is to provide a good product that's not too expensive and that lasts a lifetime. Now, what type of lures do you want to use with the Banshee? Well, we've spent the last year R&D with the best lures from the best brands, and I have page by page breakdowns of how to use each bait, how to rig it, the best lines that fit this rod and cast, but I'm not gonna give you all that information. In fact, I'm just gonna tell you, if you like to throw Ned rigs, if you like to throw lightweight swim baits, you wanna throw a white bait up in the mangroves, or you wanna throw worms in the lake, you can do all of that and more with a Banshee with no problem. This may be the most versatile rod we've ever created, and there's a reason behind that, and the best way I can tell you that you can find out is to go get one yourself. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe to this channel. We're gonna be posting weekly videos, breaking down every single model we have here at Bull Bay Rods, and we're gonna be posting videos, keeping you guys updated what's going on in the shop and what's going on out in the sea. Till next time, peace.